So, uh, thanks for being here after lunch. <laughs> it's like, yeah. So, um, I've been, as some of you know, I've been playing around a lot with different LLMs and different AI approaches recently. Um, and I think, like, you know, in some cases it's really helpful, in other cases it's just bullshit. Um, and, we need to explore these use cases, and so uh, one of the um, one of the ideas was to to actually use it as a pen testing body. Um, I have to give give credits where credits are due. Like Andreas Harpe from the TU Wien uh, was mainly behind this. I was just in a supporting role a little bit, um, but here is the idea: um, to benchmark vulnerable VMs. Um, and create a benchmark for, for everyone to use and reuse. And a controller would ask the LLM, um, to propose a Linux command to try out on the vulnerable VM. Uh, the controller sends, uh, 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 this command to the, uh, to the VM, um, collects the results and keeps it back as state and sends it back to the uh, LLM. So we have an iteration loop. And we try, we try to measure for some known vulner vulnerabilities if um, actually this uh, works. So let me see if I can give you a picture here. Basically, here is the LLM. Here is the uh, controller, which has SSH connections here to different vulnerable VMs. And this gets executed, it gets sent back, and then you keep it as history and you try to, to see if it can actually logically come to a exploit or a flag. It's basically based on CTF, um, examples. So the environment is to take tip typical vulnerabilities from CTFs, um, and also from, from training platforms and replicate them and have a standardized benchmark test so that you can try out different LLMs and different prompts always against this standardized benchmark, benchmark test. Um, yeah, so which kind of vulnerabilities do we have in here in the benchmark? Um, exploiting SUID binaries um, or misconfigurations in the ETC sudoers file, um, maybe something in the password history, uh, cron config, which is uh, wrong, um, etc. So based on, you know, like typical CTF um, uh, challenges, yeah? And here's the scoring. Um, we tested with uh, GPT-3.5 and GPT-4. We also tested against local uh, LLMs, uh, Llama 2-based ones, but these basically got out from the paper because they were actually not very good in this one. Um, so you see here uh, at the bottom the exploitation rate per test. Sometimes it's pretty high. Um, here the numbers say, um, I don't know if you can read that in the back, but there's small numbers here that say basically how many runs it took. Um, and then the overall percentage of, uh, the challenges that it solved. So this might seem low for GPT-4, 62%, but remember some of these challenges are hard and they need human creativity. And that's not something that we can expect from an LLM, right? So, you have to factor that out in. But for other tasks, it was very interesting to see that it was very correct and it, 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 it got it actually pretty correctly. And you can see the huge difference between GPT-4 and GPT-3.5. Um, and so point is, this is going to come. For the defenders, you're going to face AI-driven exploitation attempts. That's clear. And we were trying, you know, in this benchmark to replicate and see, see how, how much we could do, how far it can get, get you, like with just standard GPT-3.5 or GPT-4 or Llama based models. And, um, yeah, since yesterday there's a paper out there on archive.org and check it out. That's it. Um, voila.